This is Jess Williamson and you're watching Zapro. These days, with greenwashing being all the rage, you can call just about anything green. Dubai, now home to over 50% of all the world's large construction cranes, has mandated that all new buildings be green. We can't wait to see how some of these weird things become sustainable. Particularly given that Dubai, well, pretty much has no natural resources for thousands of miles. But at least soon you'll be able to visit Dubai's most exciting attractions like their indoor ski resort, the tallest man-made structure in the world, and personalised terraformed islands. Guilt-free. Everything old is new again. This came back as this. And this came back as this. And this came back as this. And now the Fiat 500 is back in action. It's 11 and a half feet long with a top speed of 115 miles per hour and it gets 56 miles per gallon. Granted, that's if you don't turn it into a Porsche or a monster truck. Free stuff, who doesn't like it? Free useful stuff, you'd be silly not to love it. Enter Chico Bags. The average American uses between 300 and 700 plastic bags per year. But Chico Bag can make plastic bags a thing of the past. So we're giving away free Chico Bags. Just go to Virepop's community page, register as a new member, and just drop us a message saying you'd like a new Chico Bag. It's that easy. And Chico Bag will help make plastic bags a thing of your past. Recently, we had the chance to sit down with Aaron Wolf, the director of a new documentary about what might seem like the most boring subject in the world, corn. It seemed like a great irony that the richest country in the world had such a poor diet. A lot of those foods, processed foods and fast foods and convenience foods, seem to be made out of corn. High fructose corn syrup and soda, fatty corn-fed beef. Corn-fed beef! Do you actually know anything about corn-fed beef? You know what it does to them? Um, it's a good thing they slaughter when they do because it actually kills them to feed them to make the meat like that. So they'd be dead in six months anyway eating that stuff. So it's just as well that they slaughter. Really? Yeah, it's terrible. Last year, for example, we planted 93 million acres. Over 300,000 of those acres were for corn on the cob. That means that 92,700,000 minus a few of those for popcorn all went to producing this kind of industrial grade field corn, most of the corn we grow in America is actually inedible. <laughs> it's not very good, Ian. Yes, it's incredibly productive. We're getting something like 10,000 pounds of food, 200 bushels of corn off of a single acre. But that comes at a very high cost, reflected in the kinds of chemical inputs that we have to put into that acre, the kinds of artificial fertilizers, the environmental cost. Any advice for driving with this thing? Yeah, don't hit anything. That's that's a bad thing. You can get an earful and buy the DVD at kinghorn.net. Thanks for watching and be sure to check us out at zaproot.com. Yo, YouTube user, why don't you get your subscribe on? The button's right over here. Or maybe here.